In 2023, a random Roblox YouTuber made a new Roblox game about toilets, like Skibbly Toilets. Surprisingly, today, Toilet Tower Defense is one of the highest earning games on Roblox, raking in millions of dollars and billions of visits. But to find out why this game is so popular and how you can do the same, we need to start from the beginning. An already established Roblox YouTuber known as Telanfric was a household name for many kids across the globe. He first started to gain exposure in early 2017, making videos about codes for Roblox games. After three years, he finally decided to switch up his content and started to make gaming videos on a Roblox game many of you are probably forgotten by now, known as Islands. This is where he started to take content creation seriously. This is also where he was beginning to rise to the top of the Roblox scene. With a consistent upload schedule, almost surpassing 100,000 subscribers, he knew he needed a little push to help him achieve greatness. And so, he switched his content up once again to Roblox Bedwars. Keeping the same consistent upload schedule, he finally reached his goal. This is where everything changed for Telanthric. Knowing he couldn't do Roblox Bedwars forever or Pet Simulator forever, which he also switched to, he knew he had to make a change. A change not only to his content, but something that would change his life forever. An idea hit him. With it being mid of summer 2023, kids are out of school, and the most popular Roblox games at the time being repetitive and boring. A trend came to Lanfrit's mind. That trend being none other than Skibbity Toilet. A trend that is known for living rent free in the new generation of Roblox players' minds. Undoubtedly, the most popular series of 2023. Garnered literal billions of views. It was perfect. And Skibbity Toilet literally changed Telanfrit's life. Being inspired by the series, he grabbed his developer friend and started to make a game on Roblox. Of course, revolving around this trend. The release of Toilet Tower Defense was insane. After only 5 months having over 1 billion visits, it became one of the fastest growing games on Roblox history. And YouTubers will be forever grateful for this game since it became the game to post. And the views didn't lie. Everything was going amazing for the game. The team was releasing consistent updates, only making an already massive concurrent player base skyrocket even more. Not only did the game skyrocket, but also did Telanfrit's YouTube channel. He started posting his game and his game only, averaging over 500,000 views per video. But as I've said before, with great success also comes clones, drama and jealousy. The Fruit Boon, the original creator of Skibbity Toilet, was never actually partnered with Toilet Tower Defense. He gained nothing while the Telanthric team was racking in millions of dollars every single month. The Fruit Boon was rightfully annoyed at Telanthric for taking his trend and creating this massive game. So in September of 2023, Toilet Tower Defense was taken down due to copy right laws. This sparked a massive meltdown and the over 100,000 concurrent players were furious. Obviously, the Fruit Boom wanted to cut out the millions the game was making from his creativity. The whole community, especially YouTubers, were on edge, posting the return of Toilet Tower Defense, even live streaming the Toilet Tower Defense game page, constantly refreshing it just to keep people's hopes up. With no content to make on it, content creators needed something to post and started posting TTD knockoffs like Bathtub Tower defense. But the YouTubers and even a community manager had little to no information on when the game was coming back or even if it was coming back at all. If the Fruit Boom and Telanthric couldn't come to an agreement, TTD would be off the face of the platform forever. Weeks and weeks passed by and finally by October 9th, the game was brought back to the platform. But you may be thinking, what agreement did they come to? Well, the Fruit Boom now receives around 30% of the game's total revenue, which looking at the insane amount the game brings in monthly, he is most likely receiving around $500,000 per month if not more. And you may think all the drama ends here and the game can just go back to sailing smoothly. But no, TTD have partners for the game, which are YouTubers or live streamers who actively post the game to help it grow and sustain a loyal fan base. Like how YouTubers viewers are loyal to them as well and start playing the same games that the YouTuber they are a fan of play. But one problem with this is that some partners with the game were even loyal themselves to Toilet Tower Defense and will post other games. One YouTuber being Bemi Blocks, who exploded on the come up of TTD was of course a partner with the game and was told to only post videos about Toilet Tower Defense.
defense. However, on the 26th of December 2023, Bemi Blocks posted a video on another Roblox game called Skibbity Tower Defense, a ripoff of Toilet Tower Defense, which was also licensed through the Fruit Boom. And the Talanthric team didn't like this, so they warned Bemi Blocks that he would lose his partnership with the game if he continued to post the competitor game Skibbity Tower Defense. But he continued to do so, which led to Talanthric revoking his partnership, and this sparked chaos in the community. Some thought rightfully so, because if YouTubers are posting other games, steering their viewers away from the game they're partnered with, it will only decrease the player account for said game. But others thought they should allow YouTubers to post whatever they want since it's their channel, and they are still posting the game they're partnered with anyways. The arguments got so bad that they had to lock the Discord general chat, which has only ever been locked one other time, and that was when the game was struck down for copyright. So it definitely had a bad impact on the game and the development team one way or another. As time passed by, the amount of YouTubers getting revoked of their partnership with the Roblox game only increased, and it was mainly because of that one game, Skibbity Tower Defense. And Telanthric saw this as a huge problem, since Skibbity Tower Defense was their current most threatening competitor, only getting bigger and bigger. Even a huge YouTuber, Digital Sim, got revoked of their partnership for posting Skibbity Tower Defense. But one of the most controversial moments of all happened to a YouTuber that goes by the name of Mr. Bitcoin, who had almost 400,000 subscribers. He also got his partnership removed, but not for posting the other game. The community manager for Toilet Tower Defense said, No posting videos of Skibbity Defense. And I had posted a video and I was unaware. He said, It's okay, you can keep your video up. Just don't be posting any more videos. So I, I didn't. I didn't post any more videos on Skibbity Defense. But it's a really fun game, so I played it. And you get a 25% coin boost for joining their group. Obviously, I wanted more coins, so I joined their group. So fast forward to two days ago. Without a message or anything, they removed me from the partner program. All he did was be in the Skibbity Tower Defense group and someone in the Lanthric development team found out and revoked his partnership. Many members of the community think the competitor rising and rising is starting to get to the Talanthric developer team and they will do anything to stop it from taking over. One thing being stabbing popular creators in the back. The community is split in half. Some stay in low to Toilet Tower Defense and others immediately swap into Skibbity Tower Defense because apparently it's a notably better game with their better animations, features and even more consistent updates and better updates. Many also think Toilet Tower Defense is starting to become very pay to win, with them adding shop exclusive things like units which are tiers, and then being only available in the shop means they have to be powerful. In late January, TTD didn't get any closer to beating the allegations, because they released another shop exclusive tier which was extremely overpowered, and it cost 699 robux. People were very upset with the Talanthric team for adding this because it meant less fortunate players unable to buy this tier have a disadvantage in the game, and if a team keeps on going down the path of only adding overpowered shop exclusive items because they know people will buy it, it may well be the downfall of the game. Keeping in mind that the majority of its player base are children who are unable to spend money for robots or even spend their parents money for robots. As many games have gone down from the top of the platform before because of the same reason, the developers getting greedy and pushing the limits of how much they can charge for exclusive items, then this game is destined to go down the same way. But with all the controversy so far out of the way, where does the game stand today. While Toilet Tower Defense is still one of the most popular games on the platform with over 200,000 active players currently and I think it will continue to grow and grow as time goes on. Toilet Tower Defense currently sits at over 3.3 billion visits and it still racks in over a million dollars per month so I'd say they are doing just fine. But let me know what you think in my discord and subscribe.